Secret Agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in special agent M for assignment. At once, K-7. Special agent M reporting for assignment. Agent M, as you know, this city is the home of one of the largest aeroplane factories in the world. We have been brought here to fight sabotage. Last month, a great new bomber was tested. If the trials had been successful, hundreds of the ships would have been ordered by a certain foreign power. However, while making a power dive, the plane crashed and all aboard were killed. Tomorrow, two new bombers of the same design will be tested. I want you to go to the factory immediately. It's up to us to prevent further trouble. You haven't much time to work. Keep me informed. Agent M returned to his rooms at once to meet his assistant, Yvonne. Arriving there, he found that she was missing. He decided to telephone her apartment and instruct her to meet him at the airplane factory. Hello? Uh, please ring Mr. L's rooms, operator. Yes, that's right. What? You say she's left the hotel? When will she return? Well, she must have left a message. She's checked out. Why, it's impossible. Yes, I'll wait. Hello? You say the porter says that she took the afternoon express east? You're sure? All right. Uh, yes, thank you. There's something wrong. I'll go to our rooms and examine them. An examination of Yvonne's room showed that she'd packed hurriedly. He could find nothing to give him a lead. He might have understood could he have overheard a conversation taking place at that moment in the parlor car of a fast express. down, some woman. Wait. You know, we could talk better if that old lady next to you would change places with me. I'll ask her. I beg your pardon, madame, but would you mind changing chairs? I would like to talk to my friend. What did you say, young woman? Look, Lothar. He's getting out an ear trumpet. Now, what was it? I said if you would change seats with me... I, I... can't hear a word you're saying. Never mind. If she couldn't hear me screaming at her, she will never hear what we are talking about. Uh, she's safe. Now, tell me why you decided to leave so suddenly. Because I saw a man in the hotel lobby who knows me. While I was telephoning you, Special Agent M went through the lobby. M and I have crossed swords before. Uh, he's in town for the test tomorrow morning? Probably. However, we will go on as we planned. Two bombers are to be taken up. Is that right? Yes. The ZH-35 and 36. I will pilot the first. The DH-35. Good. Tomorrow morning, before the takeoff, you will be checking both planes with the other test pilot. The second plane, the ZH-36, is to crash. Do you understand? It will be easy. How you do it is your own business. Your bomber is to behave very badly in the air. I want you to look as if you can hardly keep it under control. 
It has to make a very poor showing. Don't worry. I know what you want. If your plane makes a poor showing and the other crashes, no government in the world will order any of them. That is all we have to do. Prevent orders. Nice sound, Roma? Here is your money. There will be more if you are successful. Yeah. Where will you be after the test? On the great hill south of the airport. I want to watch those tests. You will find me there with my lunch. It will look just like an outing. If you can, join me there as soon as possible. That night, Agent M received a message in code. He went immediately to K-7's headquarters. When I returned to the hotel after talking with you this morning, I found that Ivana disappeared. I heard nothing from her throughout the day until this message arrived. Read it, Agent M. It is in our own private code. Here it is. Test pilot San Roma is an employee of Lothar Rowan. Bomber he flies will behave badly. Other plane will be sabotaged. Recognize Lothar Rowan in hotel and follow there. She left city because of your presence. Meet me on Great Hill, south of airport, after test. It's signed with the letter Y, K-7. Next morning at 9 a.m., two great bombing planes stood on the line outside the airplane factory, ready for their test. The pilots had received their final instructions. First, they were to go up alone for a series of power dives and speed trials. Then they were to return to the field and take up several military men. Just before the takeoff, Agent M, assuming charge on the authority of the commanding officer, spoke to the pilots. We're ready for the takeoff. Both of you know what you ought to do. The speed test come first. They will end in a power dive directly over the field. Are you both ready? I'm ready, sir. So am I. Good. Oh, uh, one thing more. San Roma, you were to fly the ZH-35? That is right. The orders have been changed. You will pilot the ZH-36. Purcell will pilot your ship. You you want me to take the 36? Well, why should I do that? I, I want my own ship. Both planes are identically the same. Neither have been flown before, so you can't claim your custom to the ZH-35. Now, what difference does it make? Well, it, it makes a lot of difference. I, I'm superstitious. How about you, Purcell? Does it make any difference to you which ship you fly? No, sir. Then take off at once. San Roma, you will remain here until Purcell is in the air. Good luck, Purcell. Thank you, sir. He takes the 35. I refuse to take off. We'll talk about it when he gets off. Wait, San Roma. Don't try to leave the field. I'm not going up. I'm quitting. Stand where you are until Purcell gets off the ground. You, you have a gun. Yes. Don't try to get away. Priscilla is ready to take off. your turn. Are you going up? No, I I can't go up. I, I don't feel well. I, I'd crash. I know I would. You'd crash because the ZH-36 has been sabotaged. What did you do to it, Ten Roma? Nothing. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Then get in it and fly it. Take your choice. Either take the 36 up or tell me what you did to it. We'll find out anyway, you know. But there, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't feel well enough to fly. Get in the plane, San Roma. I'll go up with you. I can fly. If you become ill, I'll take the controls. Get in. No. No, I can't. The, the right wing is weak. What's wrong with it? Bolts have been removed from two of the struts. That's all I want to know. You're coming with me. Where are you taking me? First to K-7 headquarters. After that, you will face trial as a spy. Paces high in the air, a woman stood silhouetted on the great hill to the south of the airport. She watched the ship perform through glasses. What's the matter with San Roma? That's the bomber he was to fly. I can see the numbers on its wings clearly. 
G835. Double cross me. That ship is behaving perfectly. Something must have gone wrong. The G836 hasn't taken off. Something has gone wrong, Miss Rowan. Ivan Dorel. What are you doing here? I came to take you back to K7. Don't try to move. How did you know I was here? Did San Roma talk. San Roma didn't talk. At least not to me. You're the one who talked. The next time you discuss your plans on a railroad train, make sure the old lady sitting next to you is all she seems to be. You... You were there. The gray loader row and let herself be fooled by a gray wig and an ear trumpet. Turn around and walk ahead of me. You'll never take me to K7. Now, what are you going to do? I also have a gun. Drop it. And if I refuse... Then this... Oh! Oh! Special Agent M, reporting K-7. As a result of Miss Durrell's work, Lothar Rowan is in the hospital. Ivan was forced to shoot her through the right arm. Uh, the wounds are not serious. Test pilot San Roma is under arrest and has confessed. It has been found that he is an enemy alien. The case is... Uh, wait, K-7. M, Lothar Rowan has escaped from the hospital. While the nurse was out of the room, she went down a fire escape. <laughs> of sabotage in the past, counter-espionage activities have been tightened around every aeroplane factory in the world. Many believe that future wars will be fought in the air. The activities of spies in and near aeroplane factories seem to bear out this prediction. Spies fight peace. Patriots must fight spies. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking.